Hello, I'm the Dad, and today I show you a video about the new native homebrews for the PlayStation Vita. You heard correct, this is not about PlayStation Portable stuff instead of the PlayStation Vita, but no, this is about native homebrews on the PlayStation Vita. At first, my device is running on version 351, which used to be the most recent version, but as of yesterday, there is a version 352. And if you intend to do this on your PlayStation Vita, you must not update to version 352. If you update to version 352, you will not be able to do this. Because Sony blocked all the cool things we're going to do in the future as of version 352. As you can see, new version found 352. I'm not going to download it because we don't want it. And you also need the PlayStation Mobile Runtime Package 1 to 1, which you should be able to get via this update function. But it could be that Sony also restricted this as of version 352. So do not update to 352. The most, no, the highest version this will work on is 351. Preferable, you want a version like 3.18 or 3.36. But if you're already on 350 or 351, do not update. Another thing you will need is the PSM developer application. And depending on your installed PS Vita firmware, you need version 1.1, I think 1, then 1.14 or 1.15. If your version is higher than 1.15, then you most likely have a fixed version which will not work. If you don't have the PlayStation Mobile Developer application, which used, which used to be called PlayStation Suite, then you cannot do this either. If you have both a Vita, which is not on 352, and a Vita, which already has this app version, then, you, we, then we can continue with the following well, tutorial, where you can get the files from the computer, and then we will set up the files. Okay, on the computer we have a few articles, which are in my Firefox. At first we need a few things installed on our computer for the rejuvenate hack to work. I hope I'm properly pronouncing this. Um, at first, as you can see, we need the rejuvenate files itself, then the NetFramework 2.0, NetFramework 4.0 and various Visual C++ files. And in the end we also need the PlayStation Mobile SDK version 1.21.02 uh, sorry if you don't have these files installed on your computer just download them you can easily download them from this article and if you want the most recent version of rejuvenate it's 0 0.2.1 which you can get from Ethan Lou's very own blog or website and you can easily click on download and then you can just download the files set files and we're done then on the computer we have this zip file the rejuvenate files and the SDK file which is also on my computer right now but since we want to do a fresh install I'm going to create a new folder new folder and drop the files in here then I'm going to extract this zip file and we have a few files in here. At first we need to start the setup.bat file, but we only have to do it once. And we only should start it when this when the SDK file is in the very same folder as the setup file. Since this is the case, I'm just going to start this and press a random button. So it's ex extracting the PSM SDK file. This might take a while, so just wait until it's done. And while we are waiting, keep in mind that as of now it's only working on a Windows computer and I think it needs at least Windows 7 or Vista. Not sure if Windows XP supported, I doubt that though. Support for Linux might be 
available soon and support for Mac OS. Who knows? Usually the, the file extraction should be much faster, but I'm currently recording this with Fraps. Fraps is always recording things in gigantic files, like a minute with Fraps, like a gigabyte of of a video, so obviously my CPU is a bit stressed. If you've already installed the PlayStation Mobile SDK on your computer, you will have like something like PSM Studio, UI Composer and Publishing Utility. Some of these things are necessary for the PlayStation Mobile apps to work on your PlayStation Vita. I'm going to show how to set up your PlayStation Mobile Studio and Publishing Utility in another video. So. In this video I'm just going ahead and show you how to run the Rejuvenate hack and since this required a setup PSM Studio and Publishing Utility you might want to watch the other video as well. So you can set up your video, no, so you can set up your correct files and then you can um, continue and successfully follow this video. Since I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to split this in two videos. I'm also not sure what to say right now, so I'm having a few gaps between the things I say. But whatever, just ignore it. It's already half done. And. Also keep in mind that this doesn't work on the PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita TV. It only works on the portable versions, which are the PlayStation Vita 1000 and the PlayStation Vita 2000. Okay, I had to cut the video at some point. But as you can see, it's now asking to install drivers. And it's nearly finished. And now it's done. As you can see, it's now asking for the version of PlayStation Dev, which is the app on your PlayStation Vita. And as we could see on my PlayStation Vita, it was version 1.15. I think other eligible versions are 1.1, I think 0, 1.11, I'm not sure, and 1.14. So 10 or 11 is possible, but also 14 or 15. Now it's signing the client. Files with the keys. And after this is done, as you can see, I can now delete the one file because you don't need it anymore, and I can drag and drop the homebrew elf that's onto the bat file so I can run this file. So this is done, we have this homebrew 
world.elf file. Um, I have to connect my PlayStation Vita to the computer so I can successfully use the rejuvenate hack. And for this I have to start the PlayStation Dev app on my PlayStation Vita and launch the application. When I've launched the application and I'm instead of the PlayStation Mobile Development Assistant application, I just drag and drop this hello world.elf onto the run home route bot. And after this, we will get this window. It's trying to connect to the PlayStation Vita. Um, if you get errors, just try to restart this um, CMD window and try to restart your PlayStation Vita. I think it's even enough to restart the uh, the PlayStation Mobile application on the PS Vita. You don't have to fully restart your PlayStation Vita. If everything is working successfully, you get something like this. And if you get um, an error like VM death or the um, the CMD crashes, keep in mind that your PlayStation Vita has to be connected to your computer. It does. It must not be removed from the computer until this is done. And keep in mind that you might have to enable Wi-Fi on your PlayStation Vita. Okay, the steps on the computer are pretty much done. And I'm going to show you how this looks like if you run the files on the computer, but we're going to show the PlayStation Vita this time. So you see both, how it looks on the PC and how it looks on the PlayStation Vita. Okay, back on the PlayStation Vita, keep in mind that you will most likely have to activate Wi-Fi for this to work, and then head over to the PSM Dev application. After you start the PSM Dev application, you should see a screen which looks like something like this, but at yours it's most likely empty, because I already installed some of the demos which came with the SDK files, and the Vita Defiler client is also in, already on my pay, PlayStation Vita. If you have the screen and Wi-Fi is enabled, then you can on um, your computer you can drag and drop the hello world.elf file onto the run homebrew.bot, and then this will happen on the PlayStation Vita. The Vita Defiler client will be installed. You get this development assistant screen and then it's followed by a black screen which will stay on the PlayStation Vita for quite a while. Meanwhile on the computer this is happening. So pretty much the same stuff that happened before. So what I showed you a few minutes ago. But I wanted to show you what's happening on the computer at first and then what's happening on the PlayStation Vita. After this here is finished, the black screen on the PlayStation Vita will turn into something. And this something is a Hello World. The Hello World is pretty much an example that we can run our own code on the PlayStation Vita via the PSM Dev application. This code is less restricted than the official PSM dev things you can run via the official PSM dev program. So this opens up the, the PS Vita as much as possible so we can use better and more stronger homebrews on the PlayStation Vita. For example, there's currently an FTP client for the PlayStation Vita which runs on this rejuvenate hack. And there's also, I think it's the C8 emulator. I'm not sure what a C8 is because, well, I'm only like 21 years old. So it's, I think it's some emulator for an 80s console. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm most likely embarrassing myself right now. But whatever. If you use something else than the hello world.l file, it should run this something else since the file we're going to run is the file we're going to drag and drop onto the bad file. So pretty much this was my video about the rejuvenate hack. Keep in mind I'm going to make another video so you can properly set up and configure the PSM Dev Studio and deal with the whole keys part so your device can successfully run your own applications and with own applications I mean homebrews via rejuvenate. This was of course done by Yifan Lu he worked on this for a lot of years and this is like the first bigger breakthrough in terms of native play PlayStation Vita homebrews. The future looks bright as long as you don't update to version 3.52 and so yeah, I'm the dad and see you soon.